eco-warrior Owen Kataparo has taken it upon himself to walk the length and the breadth of the country to spread awareness on the dangers of plastic use. He also plans to cycle through Sadiq with the same message. This is a very serious issue that I'm busy trying to tackle and is an environmental issue. So when we talk about environmental issue, it's a human right issue. So the aim for me to, to do this kind of work that I started in uh, Barbies up to Winduk is to raise awareness against plastic bag, to educate the people the bad side effect of the plastic. Because most of the people in rural area, they don't know that the plastic, it contains toxic, which is harmful to them, to their health. And uh, the other thing is, you know, we have taken a lot from the natures. It is time for us to contribute to the natures. If you look um, how many plastic bags, especially the carry bag one, I'm not focusing in all different types of plastic, but I'm mainly focusing on carry bag one, the shopping one. Because for most of the time, you know, we don't understand that it costs us a lot. Like every time you go to the shop, so you, you have to buy a plastic bag and uh, it costs you like $1. The moment you get home, you dump it. Or sometimes the wind take it into the ocean, to the marine. So the fish, they end up eating that plastic. Or sometimes they also suffocate themselves in the plastic. So, and the, the, the toxic, the chemical that the plastic ordain, it, uh, when the fish eat it, it can also stay in the inside of the fish. And when we happen to eat it, so we can also inherit that as well. And that can cause also cancer and other disease as well. So this is why I'm doing this kind of work. Well, it's going to be a long journey. So, and the only thing that I want to achieve is to, I want to see the Namibian youth to stop buying plastic. So they should come up, I mean, they should find a way to, to have a cotton bag where they can shop in because the cotton bag, it can last longer, like even for 10 years or for 15 years. So it is going to save the money of the Namibian people. So the journey is going to end up so far in Angola. So I'm going to Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Angola. A lot of people, they, they, don't, they don't really understand the toxic, the chemical, the plastic that it got in. Just imagine like when you go to Katutura, the people that sell kapana there, they use plastic to light the fire, to make it um, faster, like quick fire. But then the, the plastic that I'm talking about, the, the shopping one, it stays longer there. And the, the chemical can easily recycle into the pot. And we eat that. We all love kapana. So, and the aim is just to teach the people the, the bad side effect of plastic and then I also asked myself, I cannot wait for the government, you know, like, okay, Minister of Environment and Tourism, they have to, they have to, to, to do this for us. So we also need to do our part as the nation. So we need to find the way to meet halfway with the government. So, yeah, I'm not going to blame them that they are not doing it, but we, we keep on blaming the government. No, they are not doing it. They are not doing this. But when are we going to stand up and teach our nation? Because we are the people that have a sharp eyes than the people that sit in the office. Because we see and we need to contribute. Anything else that you would like to add? Yeah, um, yeah not so much, but um, it, uh, it would be really uh, good if we can... <laughs> if, yeah, if we can, uh, if we can get um, more youth into the platform so that we can start to educate uh, more others about this issue because it's a very very serious issue that we need to tackle and um, 
and if you if we get more people then it's going to be perfect and with that it's a wrap thanks for watching